Hello guys, I'm on Blessed Data and welcome to another review. This time we have the season finale of The Walking Dead Season 3. It's Season 3, Episode 16, Welcome to the Tombs. And yeah, so The Walking Dead is done. The season's done, not the show. And we gotta wait until October for it to start up again. And just before I start this review, I just wanna say, usually when I do a review of The Walking Dead, I usually put up a review the next day, so uh, I just, you know, it gives me a little bit of time to think about it, you know, what I have to say and everything. This time, I waited a few days before I I'm going to actually make this review. This is actually three days after the season uh, finale premiered, just because I want to kind of think about it a little more than usual, just so I can really give my honest opinion on the episode, just so, it, you know, as it's been sitting in my mind for a little bit. So, before I really get into this review, I just want to let you guys know it will contain spoilers, so if you do not want to know what happened, go watch the episode and come back. Alright, so let's get right into this review. Just overall, I'll just tell you my overall feelings of this episode. Frankly, there was a lot of hype for this episode, and honestly, I do not think it really lived up to the hype. Now, that being said, it was a good episode, it's just that... I think the hype of the episode really overshadowed it. I mean, if this was just a normal episode, like if it was the episode before the finale, I would say, wow, this is like a great episode, can't wait for the finale. But because this was the finale, and there was so much hype, it really didn't live up to it. There wasn't like a really big shock, and that's what I was looking for, and that's kind of what I was promised with all these, you know, there's going to be this huge battle, huge war. And, it, you know, the shock was never really there for me. Although, important things did happen. Important people did die. But, I don't know. It just, it, it wasn't, it didn't feel like The Walking Dead's, like, classic shock moment, I, I have to say. So, that's why I didn't really say it was, like, an A-plus episode. But it was still, it was still pretty good. So, let's just get right into it. I'll tell you everything that happened. Basically, if you missed the episode, I'll tell you everything and my thoughts. So right off the bat, we see the governor torturing Milton because he's the one that actually burnt the walkers in a couple episodes before that they were going to use on the prison. And eight men died because of him, uh, be, you know, because they didn't get to use the walkers and everything. Um, so yeah, they were basically going to use those walkers in the pit that they captured on whoever showed up or, you know, on the prison, wh whatever they could use for just to protect themselves because Milton burnt them, kind of saving the prison a little bit. The governor is now torturing him. And Milton brings up the point. He tells the governor, you know, what would your daughter think of you? Like, if she's seen you right now. And uh, he said, she'd be afraid of me, but she would be still alive because of the way I'm acting. That's a really cool point to bring up. And just, let, let me just bring this up, uh, like, right now, anyway. Um, there's a book, like a novel, about the governor called, uh, I'm pretty sure it's called Rise of the Governor. It's a full novel. It's not a comic or anything. I read it, and it was really awesome and it really goes in depth on how the governor became the governor and everything really cool i really recommend it and this quote is really reminds me of the book so if you really want to know a lot about the governor i suggest you read that book although it's it's really tied to the comic so if you've just watched the show and want to know more it's not the best place to go but it's still really awesome if you want to know more about the governor just read the comics and then read the book if you already read the comics i really suggest reading the book though really really cool um, so we find out that Andrea is still alive, she's not actually dead that. And basically the governor says to Milton that you're going to help me kill, um, everyone here. Um, and he's, he gives Milton a knife, the governor, and the governor wants Milton to kill Andrea for him, kind of to prove his loyalty back to him since, you know, he kind of went against him. And so then Milton's with the knife, he's about to go kill Andrea, Andrea's still like strapped down in the chair, and he turns around and he's about to kill the governor. But of course he's slow, he's not trained or nothing, so the governor turns around and just kills him. So now Milton's on the floor and he's got multiple stab wounds, he's, he's dead, he's gonna die. So that was basically one major death, it was Milton, and I like Milton, and I really wanted him to like become the scientist of the prison, but I guess it's not gonna happen. So he kills him, and he says, you're gonna turn and still kill her, you're gonna still do what I said. So he just leaves Milton in the room and basically just closes the door and says, you know what, I'm just gonna let Milton turn and kill Andrea. So then we go to the prison, and it looks like everyone at the prison is leaving, they're all packing and everything, and Carl's angry at Rick, because I guess he wants to fight or something, 
and you know he's got like angry at him because they're not gonna fight and you know, Carl's really develops a lot in this episode we'll get to that later but that's the first sign that Carl's angry at Rick and Rick sees Lori again so they bring up Lori once again I want to see him bring Shane again that would be that's like that'd be really awesome even though they already did it when they were fighting at the prison but I mean fighting at Woodbury but I just want to see him again like some flashbacks of him because that'd be pretty sweet but I'm really tired of Lori now just she's dead just leave her alone um, so then the governor and, the, and his men are getting ready to go to the prison, so this is setting up for the big war. Then we go back to Edmund's favorite, Tyrese and his sister. Basically, they confront the governor and, and the governor's like men and every, all them that are getting ready to go assault the prison, saying, you know, we don't want to fight humans, we're staying here, like, we fight biters, we don't fight humans. That's a cool point. So they stay, and the governor gives Tyrese a weapon, and then he says, okay, just stay here, whatever. Alright, so now we arrive at the big point of this episode where everyone's been waiting. The gov's, the governor's men arrive at the prison, and they got machine guns everywhere just blowing up the prison. They're firing at the towers at the top, you know, where they would expect for people to be up there for sniping and stuff. They're blowing them up with, like, grenade launchers. There's explosions everywhere. Just, they just went everywhere. Then they arrive into the prison, they break down, like, the gate. They just drive through it, and they split up and look around. Then we go back to Milton and Andrea, and Milton basically tells Andrea that there's a tool on the floor that he dropped when the governor told him to get tools, and he left it there on purpose so she could break out. Then we see Tyrese, and basically Tyrese has basically decided now he wants to get out of Woodbury. It's not the place for him. At the same time, we see Milton is actually dead, and he's turning uh, into a walker, and Andrea's frantically trying to use her feet to pick up this uh, like tool on the floor so she can free herself. Then, um, we see that the governor and his men are going through the whole prison, like, looking around for Rick and everything, and it, uh, we see that, you know what, they're not here. So we assume that they decided that they're going to leave and not fight, because that's what one of the options Rick gave everyone before, like, you know, before they actually said, okay, we're going to stay here and fight, or we're going to leave. So then all of a sudden, flashbangs come out of nowhere, and the governor's men are all disoriented on these flashbangs. And walkers are released, and they're in like the the hallways of the prison at this point. And so then they they all run out, and Glenn and Maggie are in riot armor, and they're just firing upon all the governor's men. And I'm sure they killed a bunch of people, but um, yeah, so they actually didn't run away. And it was cool to finally see Glenn in the the riot armor, because um, when they were at the prison, Glenn was actually in that riot armor. Like that was a signature thing at the prison. Like, let me get some riot armor. So it'd be cool if they found a bunch of riot armor and they all could wear it, because it'd be like. Like a, like, I don't want to say like a gang, but like, they'd all have it, so it's like, oh man, it's the Riot guys, you know, like, I don't know, I, I, that's kind of cool, I, I think. Um, so, yeah, and a lot of people died there because uh, Glenn and Maggie were just shooting everyone right there. And then, this is where a really cool, like, an important thing happens. Um, Herschel and Carl are hiding in, like, in the woods just outside the prison, they're hiding behind this, like, big rock, and one of the governor's men run into them, and he has a shotgun, and he basically hands the shotgun to Carl, it's like, okay, don't worry, uh, like, here, here's my gun, I don't want to cause any trouble, and Carl just shoots him straight in the face, so we can see that Carl's character is developing from this point, they really, they're driving his story now, and we're seeing kind of what he acts like, and in the comic, he really acts like this, like, he's just, like, basically a mini Rick, and he just makes his own decisions, so we can see that's coming out in the show now, too. Um, then they, they basically drove the governor's men out at, of the prison at this point, and they, like, fall back. Even though they have all these guns and stuff, they're kind of just scrambled, so they don't know what to do, so they basically want to get out of there and basically regroup. So that's what happens on them. Um, and then, all of a sudden, um, the governor is basically like, what are you doing, what are you doing? And when they're out of the prison, they're all in trucks, like, driving away, and he basically stops everyone, tells them to get out, and he basically says, you know, like, we gotta go back, and everyone's saying, no, no, no. The governor just takes a gun and opens fire on his people, and killing his whole army. Not very smart on the governor's part, but I think he's just lost all hope right now, he's just completely gone, so he just basically kills all his people, 
Um, and he even kills uh, one of Tyrese's members when Tyrese first showed up. It was the white guy that was kind of like an idiot, so kind of cool to see him die. But um, we actually see this girl was hiding un under one of the dead bodies, so someone's actually alive. Um, that's That was, you know, in this, the governor's massacre, I guess. Um, so only two people were alive, Martinez and another one of the governor's men, so he actually didn't kill them. And they, then they just kind of drive off, and we don't see anything um, past that again. We don't know what happened to the governor after that. Um, so that's kind of left open for season four. And I was really expecting the governor to be killed in this episode. So it's kind of interesting that they decided not to and just leave it as an open end. So that was kind of stupid, in my opinion. I really wanted them to just finish the, with the governor, but... I don't know if he's going to come back right when Season 4 starts, or maybe they'll bring him back a little bit later. We really don't know. But I guess it'll be cool to see how they, what they do differently from the comic book. Um, so, yeah. Then Milton reanimates, and it looks like Andrea is in some big trouble. Then we see a moment with um, Rick and Carl that was really interesting. Um, basically, uh, Rick confronts Carl and says, talks to him about killing some random kid... That, that was the governor's man, and he says, was he, you know, was he handing over the gun? Was it really necessary that you kill, you had to kill him? And he said, and basically Carl just says, you know, I couldn't take the chance. Um, like, you didn't kill, um, you, like, I, you didn't kill the, him, he, that he killed someone in our group. Um, he, like, uh, you didn't kill the governor, and the governor kills all these people here. And he really stepped up and just, just owned his dad, basically. And, like, it, it was, it was just really weird to see that, and, like, I think, they're gonna do something with Carl that he, he's gonna, he's, I don't know, like, I feel like Carl's gonna kill Rick or something. I know that sounds really, like, not right, but it, it makes sense because he's really want, it, it's not, it seems like he wants to take leadership of the group. And, you know, he's just a kid too, but he doesn't really know, so if, if he, like, kills his dad or something, that would be a huge twist. And he even tells his dad after they're done talking, like, now go get out of here, like, go. Like, oh my god, he's, like, ordering his... Uh, dad around like okay there all right then Daryl Rick and Michonne they find all these dead bodies that the governor killed and they actually find the girl that was still alive that was hiding then we go back to Andrea and it's really intense now because Andrea's trying to free herself obviously and Andrea actually does free herself with this tool she finally just takes off her boots and uses her feet um, so she takes off the tool but we don't um, she gets the tool but we don't really see what happens and then Rick, Dale, and Michonne are at Woodbury now, and they bring the girl with him that they found that was still alive from the governor's, like, massacre. And basically Tyrese is on guard because he was the only one left there uh, of the men of Woodbury that didn't go and fight for the governor. So he's still there with his gun, but of course we learned a couple episodes before that... Uh, Tyrese is like a really bad shot, so he doesn't kill anyone. And then one of the, the girl that they found of the governor's men says, you know, it's me, let us in. So Tyrese lets them in, and Tyrese actually says, oh, Andrea ran away, so like, where is she? And, and Rick says, you know, she didn't, she never came to the prison. So he brings up the point, well, maybe Andrea still might be here. Um, so then they find the door where Andrea was being kept with Milton, they open the door, and we see Milton dead on the floor, like, as a zombie. Zombie, they don't say zombie in The Walking Dead. We find Milton on the floor as a walker, dead, so, you know, Andrea killed her, him with the tool. But we find out that Andrea is actually bit and is gonna die. So she was actually bit right on her shoulder by Milton. This is my point. How could she have gotten bitten? She, she was free, she had the tool, and she got bit. Even though, like, a couple episodes ago, she was running in the forest with, like, ten walkers on her, and she killed all those walkers. How does that make sense? I don't know. It was it just kind of felt like a really cheap way to kill Andrea. I would rather much have it that the governor would just went up to her and killed her. Like, I would have rather had that a hundred times, uh, like, over than just her getting bit by one zombie. Just, I don't know, really felt really just a cheap way to, like, for a surprise. Like, I, I don't know, it just... I don't know. Um, and then she says, you know, I'm going to kill myself. Please let me do it. And she says, like, uh, like an iconic word that's probably going to be used for her. She says, oh, I know how the safety works now with your gun. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of funny because before, when she was learning how to shoot, you know, she didn't know, she, she didn't know how the safety worked, and they told her. So it's kind of a cool moment if you've seen all the other seasons. 
and he and she even says I tried and Rick says you know I know you did so yeah and then she just shoots a gun we actually and she actually kills herself so before she reanimates she shoots herself in the head Andrea is done so that was the big big shock but again it wasn't that big of a shock and that's kind of what disappointed me with this episode in this finale but again if it was just a normal episode it would have been so much better but oh well then then Rick and his group do something very unexpected. They actually fill a bus up with all the Woodbury like people that are still there. So basically, it's just old men and old men, old women and children at this point because everyone else went to go fight for the governor and were killed by him. They put them all in a bus and they brought them to the prison. And they and Rick even says they're gonna join us now. So yeah, that's a big twist, very different from the comic. That does not happen in the comic. Basically, what happens is the governor drives a tank into the prison and basically kills a lot of people, and Rick's group kind of just scrambles and runs away. And this, it was kind of the complete opposite. Now, Rick brought Woodbury to the prison, and he's kind of taking the governor's role now. Really interesting. I, I didn't see that happening at all, but again, it wasn't a huge surprise. Like, of course, I didn't see it happening, but it's not that cool. That's like, whoa, so... I don't know how this is going to pan out from here on, but yeah, the basically Rick is the governor now because he's, he's like uh, taking care of all these people, um, but it's, you know, I think it's really going to split from the comic at this point, I really don't think it's going to follow anything, um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next, I'm sad that I can't do any more reviews on The Walking Dead because, you know, I really find enjoyment in making these reviews. And just the fact that people say, you know, I like your reviews, thank you for making them, it, re it really makes me happy, you know, it's, it's awesome that people are giving me good feedback. Um, and even criticize them too, if, if you have any suggestions to make my videos better, you know, go ahead and leave them in the comments because it'll only help me and you. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens next. But, of course, we're going to have to wait a little while. We're going to have to wait until October. That's right, you heard me right. It premieres again on October. So, I guess I'll see you guys in October. If you're interested in more news and reviews, you can always go to my channel. I also review Arrow. And Hannibal is starting up pretty soon. It's a TV show based on Hannibal Lecter. So, I think I'm going to start reviewing that if it's any good. So, you can see them. I do action figure reviews and news on that. And video game commentary, commentaries, video game commentaries, and um, video game unboxings. So if you want to see that, you can just head over to my channel and check that out. But just, uh, I just want to say a big thank you um, to everyone that's watched all my reviews from the beginning of season three. I just want to congratulate you. You get one unblessed data token to use later. Uh, but uh, just I want to say thank you again for watching guys. Don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye